A judge has asked the Justice Department to launch a civil rights investigation into conditions at the D.C. jail. This after the judge ruled jail officials violated the civil rights of a capital riot defendant. Yeah, our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is live outside of the D.C. jail tonight. And Flack, I understand it got pretty contentious in court earlier this morning, yeah? Yeah, so it was really fairly remarkable. The warden of the D.C. jail, the director of the D.C. Department of Corrections, held in contempt of court by a federal judge over treatment of a member of the Proud Boys housed here at the D.C. jail. U.S. District Court Judge Royce Lamberth hauled D.C. jail warden Wanda Patton and D.C. Department of Corrections Director Quincy Booth into federal court Wednesday after the agency failed to produce doctor's notes about a required hand surgery for Christopher Worrell. Worrell has been held at the D.C. jail since his arrest in March on multiple felony charges stemming from the Capitol riot. The Florida man accused of joining fellow Proud Boys members in storming the U.S. Capitol and of assaulting federal officers with a chemical irritant. After Worrell broke his wrist at the jail in May, a specialist recommended surgery to repair it. But that operation still has not happened. Friday, the judge ordered corrections officials to turn over the required paperwork to the U.S. Marshal Service so they could move forward with the surgery. But as of midday yesterday, those notes still had not been given to the Marshal's office. Attorneys for the D.C. jail told the judge corrections officials did eventually turn the medical records over, but not until later in the day, only after the judge had set this contempt hearing. Still, corrections attorneys argued there was no need to hold jail leaders in contempt since the notes had ultimately been turned over. But that was not good enough for Judge Lamberth. In addition to holding Patton and Booth in contempt of court, he also referred the case to the U.S. Attorney General's office for a civil rights investigation saying, quote, it's clear to me the civil rights of the defendant were violated by the D.C. Department of Corrections. I don't know if it's because he's a January 6th defendant or not. Worrell's attorney tells WUSA 9 they are pleased with today's ruling and are looking forward to a Department of Justice investigation without prejudice. We reached out to the spokesperson here at the D.C. jail for comment on today's contempt ruling. We have not heard back. The Department of Justice did confirm for us that the judge referred the case for a civil rights investigation, but the DOJ could not comment beyond that. So back to you. Yeah, we know inmates have been complaining about conditions at the D.C. jail for quite some time, Flag. So it's interesting that this case might lead to that potential investigation. Thanks so much.